Here we go. I know, I know. Shikol Erev Rosh Hashanah Matif. I thought um, we would get through the whole Chazara, but okay, we'll do as much as we can. The rest of the will have to finish over Rosh Hashanah. So we're in the middle of Beis Amid Beis. Keman Ozla. No, we just did that yesterday. Bishlama. We're up to Bishlama. To give a quick recap, give a quick recap. I'm actually in the middle of putting together some notes. We'll see when I finish. I'll try to send them out, print them out for the Eilam of just uh, basic Shaklavitaria to make it a little readable. We'll see if we get there. It's somewhere on that list of Arab Rosh Hashanah with many, many other things. So we're in the middle of discussing the three Shittais of the Makar for 20 Amis. The three shita is Rabba, Ravzira, and Rava. We then explained why each one doesn't hold of each other. We then brought down three statements, B'Shem Rav, Rav Yeshaya, Rav Huna, and Rav Hanan by Rav. And we figured out who holds like whom. The f- third one held like no one. And now we try to figure out why the latter two, Rav Huna and Rav Hanan um, by Rav, by, uh, Rav Hanan and Rav, why they do not hold like Rav Yeshaya, and what the Nikudas HaMachlaikas they're in. So says the Gemara Bishlama, Ma Mishmak in the middle of Gimel and Beis and Beis, and I'll be honest, there's a fine nuance that I, when I, I chazered the Gemara this afternoon, there's a nuance that I picked up in the, this Gemara new, so hopefully it will add a little more clarity for everyone else as well. Bishlama, again, Beis and Beis, first word in line is Kashira. So Bishlama, the Rav Yeshaya, Pli God, the Rav Hun, Rav Hanan Bar Rav Yeshayu, who explained that the Machlaikas is when the walls reach the walls do not reach the roof. But if the walls reach the roof, everyone holds it's allowed to be more than 20 Amais. So I understand that Rav Yeshaya argues on Rav Hun and Rav Hanan by Rabba. Why? De'inhu kayahavi shiura b'mishcha. Because they, Rav Hanan by Rav and Rav Huna, are giving sizes in the sukkah, either 7 by 7 or 4 by 4. Ve'ihu, and he, Rav Yeshaya, loke yav shir b'mishcha, is not giving a size. And therefore, Rav Yeshaya is more encompassing, because he's learning that in all scenarios, the machlekes applies, aside for when the walls reach the tzachach. But he's not limiting it to a specific number, 4 by 4, 7 by 7. Ella, but now the Gemara wonders where and what is the detail, the nikuda that Rav Huna and Rav Bar Rabba argues. Al Rav Huna and Rav Bar Rabba, Neima Bechshur Sukkah Kamifliki, are they arguing about the minimum size of a sukkah? Demar Savar, the Rav Huna holds, Hechshur Sukkah Bar Bahamais, Umar Savar, Rav Chana Bar Rabba holds. Is that the Machlekes? And of course, now that we know a little bit more, what, what's the big deal if that's the Machlekes? Because we saw that might be a Machlekes based Shammai based Hillel. Not so simple. And we don't want it to be this world's big Machlekes that they're arguing as to the size of a sukkah. So here, look, this, this tariff, I believe, I have a doubt more clarity on. Says Gemara Light. That's not where they're arguing. The Kuli both Rav and Rav Hanan by Rabba both hold Hechshar Sukkah. What's the minimum size of a Sukkah Rosh Hashanah? Bishul Chani. Vahacha Bahakim Ezli. So what are they arguing? Each one explained the Mishnah's Machlaikas either seven by seven or four by four. Demar Savar. Rav Hanan by Rav holds B'Machzekes Rosh Hashanah Rubai Bishul Chani Pligi. Where is the Machlaikas at seven by seven? When I have a sukkah that holds Rosh Hashanah, literally seven by seven, that is precisely where we have a machlekes of Yehud and the Chacham in the Mishnah, whether it's twenty amas or not. Avol yoisai me Rosh Hashanah v'shulchanai tiviakol kshera. That line I never understood. It's 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 a bomb chiddush. The Gemara is answering. The Gemara is explaining that according to Rav Chanan by Rav, who. We saw yesterday said the whole mach like as is more than seven is less than seven by seven, but more than seven by seven, everyone holds his kosher. But now that the Gemara is saying that everyone has to hold the sukkah needs to be seven by seven, so the Gemara now is minimizing and saying, you know what they argue? The whole mach like as, according to Rav Chanan by Rabba, is at precisely seven by seven. Once it's one drop more, 
Everyone holds it's kosher. Once it's one drop less, everyone holds it's basel. It just comes out of an incredible chiddush, the way the Gemara is explaining it. But, as we saw yesterday, the Gemara couldn't find really who he holds like. The Gemara said, who does he hold like? Deloikechad, like no one. Okay, so it's not so schwer that it's coming out that he's a uh, very fine machloikis. Umar Savar and Rav Hunolbs may roi shevi rubai vishalchane adalit amois from seven by seven until four amois pligi. That's where there is a machloikis. Aval yoiser mi dalit amois divrei hakol kshira. And that wraps up really the Mishnah. The three Mekairis of the Mishnah, the three Amorayim that argue where the Machlaikis in the Mishnah is, and now finally where the final two Amorayim, Ravun and Ravchan and Barav, themselves argue. Now says the Gemara, Meisve. We're now going to begin a long and lengthy question. Meisve asks the Gemara, Sekasha, that's on both Ravuna. And Ramchan and Barabbas. Let's just explain what do they both hold? They both hold that the Machloikes, whether the Mishnah has to be 20 Amos or not, is either only until 7 by 7 or only until 4 by 4 Amos. But once it's a larger Sukkah, they debate what the word larger means, then everyone's an old, it could even be more than 20 Amos. Asks the Gemara from the story of Hilni Amalka. Sula, for Rav Yudah Machsha had a bar and Chamish Shemama. When Rav Yudah says it's kosher until forty fifty, we pointed out Altaisa says it doesn't really mean until forty or fifty. It just means Rav Yudah says it's kosher even bigger than twenty. Amar Rav Yudah, Ma'isa Bilni Amalka below the story with Queen Elni Shai says who goes to give a master Mama. Why as they came in the class and the item the Sham and the elders visited at Queen Elni. V'loy Amru La Davar and they didn't say anything. So says Rabbi Yehuda, I have a raya. I have a raya that I'm right. I hold the sukkah is allowed to be more than 20 amois. What's the raya? The raya is from Hilni Amalka. Now it's not really from Hilni, because Hilni herself, no, no, she's a queen, she's a woman, she doesn't even seem like she's Jewish. But what was, this, what was the raya? The raya was from the Chachamim that went to visit her, and the Chachamim did not say anything. So that is Rabbi Yehuda's Right, and we mentioned already that who is Hilni? Hilni was the mother of Munbaz Hamelech. And it, I should say, there are those who held that she was a Ger. She was, she was a Yid. As we're about to see in a moment, her children seemingly were Jewish. So, you know, what exactly happened over here? I'm just noticing on the side over here, they point out that um, she was Megayer at some point. Okay. Says the Gemara, so Rav Yudah says, that's a raya, I'm right. How do I know? Because the Chachamim went to visit Helmi. She had this massive sukkah, and no one said anything. Amrulai, so the Chachamim, who hold that a sukkah taller than 20 is possible, say to Rav Yudah, Misham raya, that's your raya. Isha Isa, what do you mean? She's a woman. Jewish, not Jewish, I don't care. She's a woman. Upetura min sukkah. Amr Lahan, her view the response. What do you mean? Shkayach that she was a woman. She had her seven sons. Vaid, and number two, ah, Shalom Ramnachi. Vaid, and number two, call my cell, El Al Bichachanim. We know that Hilni Amal, because she always conferred with the rabbis. So even if you're going to tell me she was Potter, she seemingly asked the rabbin, and they told her it was okay. End of story. End of response. Set of Rav Yehuda proving his point that a sukkah is allowed to be taller than 20. From where? From Hilni Amalka. Again, what's the raya? Because she made a big sukkah. Aye, she's a woman. She had her kids with her. And she always asked Shilos. And what happened? The Chachamim came to visit and they said nothing. Says the Gemara, one second. Lama Lila Misni, why did the Bryce have to say, void? Everything she did by the Chanum. Why do we need to say that? Once you told me she has seven kids, that's enough. She has seven kids. One of them is Chayiv. So who cares that she asked all Shailas? Says the Gemara Hachi Kamalu. This is what is going on. As follows. If you're going to suggest, maybe the kids were Ketanim. 
Kivon de Shiva Have, since there were seven, Yavsha Deloy Have, Vuchad, it's impossible that there wasn't one, Sheinoi Tsarich Li Imai, that doesn't need the mother. So why did Munbaz's kids need a sukkah? Because one of them must have been at an age that didn't need the mother. How old is that? I don't know, seven, eight, nine, whatever it is. It had to have been one of them. But, and then Rabbi Yehuda anticipates an answer. Maybe you'll tell me you're right. There was a kid, a nine-year-old, and the nine-year-old didn't need the mother. So the nine-year-old had eaten a sukkah. One second. What level of obligation does a nine-year-old ask in a sukkah? Maybe you're going to suggest a child that doesn't need its mother, a nine-year-old. It's only a dinder So what's your raya from a dirabanan? Maybe Queen Helni didn't follow every dirabanan. So on that detail is where Rav Yudha said, V'i, and we know that she, Helni, and maybe she didn't listen to the Rabbanans. On that, Toshima, Va'oid, call myself, Loya Sasa, El Al Pichacham. End of Brysa. Oh, seemingly your husband wasn't part of the picture. Where he was, what he was doing, I don't know. Yeah, he wasn't Jewish. Yeah, no, it's true. According to those shitas that she was Megayar later on, could definitely be. Okay. So what do we see? What do we see from this whole story? Rav Yehuda proved from this whole Maisa with Hilni that he's right. Sukkah is allowed to be bigger than 20. Why? Because Hilni's in the Sukkah. Her seven kids are in the Sukkah. And what? And they listen to the Chacham. So what's the... Kasha says the Gemara, three lines to the bottom. Bishlam aleman damer shein devan is megiyaz lizchach. According to Rav Yeshaya. And he explained when does Rav Yehuda and the Chacham argue when the walls... Do not reach the schach. Machloik is that where we have the machloik as. So then we could explain the story with Queen Helni very good. Why? It's called primitive air conditioning. It makes a lot of sense. She had a beautiful sukkah made. Specifically, the walls don't reach the schach. And that's where Rav Yudha had Araya from it. it. Says the Gemara in the table of Gimlam and Aleph. Misham Because they wanted air. So according to Rav Yeshaya, Galat Kosher. What's the problem? But according to the Manda Amrim, both Rav Hanan Bar and Rav Huna, that they said the whole Machlaikas is only either less than 7 by 7 or less than 4 by 4. The whole story makes no sense. So from the story, and from the fact that Rabbi Yehuda is proving from the story, must be that where did Rabbi Yehuda argue? Even in a big sukkah. That's the Gemara's kasha. Oh, Shalom Rav Shagi. That is the Gemara's kasha on Rav Hanan Bar and on Rav Huna. Better late than never. Oh, Shalom Rav Nayach. Okay, where are we holding? We're at seven. We're really done, but let's just read one more line. Let's just read one more line. Hopefully by the time we finish in the schloss, we'll get our last three people from the minion. So that's the Gemara's cash. Answers the Gemara. Oh my Rabba by Rabba, the Gemara of three lines on the top. Lo inetzricha. No. You know what was going on with Queen Helmi. Elo is sukkah su kitanius kitanius. You're right that the structure was large, but there were small cubicles inside, says the Gemara. A queen? Do you really think a queen is inside a cubicle sukkah? you're right. It was a big sukkah and there were smaller rooms. Now, Rabban on Sabri, so now this is the Machlaikas Rav Yehuda and the Chachamim. Is it a Kasha on Rav Huna and Rav Chanan Bar Rabba? No. Because they say, where is the Machlokes? Only in a small sukkah. There were small sukkahs inside the larger sukkah. Rabban and Savri, you know where the kids were? The kids were in the big part of the sukkah. And V'i, and she was, she was sitting in the small sukkah. 
Misham Sini Yusa. And the Rabbanan held because he was a big sucker. It's kosher. Misham Achilam Rele Davar. Rabbi Yehuda Savar. And with this we conclude. No, the kids were sitting with the mama and still, I mean, they were all in the big sukkah, in the small sukkah. And still they said nothing. And that was Rabbi Yehuda's raya that a sukkah is allowed to be more than 20 amois. And with that we will conclude. And again, let's push the chazara.